Hello and welcome to episode 298 of Bobo Scrabati Records. Hey. Hmm. Right. I'm going to knock it down a tier or two now. And uh, we're going to start off in the, the little F3. This is something that can be very, very handy and fun to play. It's a lovely looking little machine as well. Hmm. Yeah. So we're going to start off in this. Maybe I'll try the Hummel. And if we get time, uh, we'll try the, uh, the SU-122A again. Or potentially maybe the M12. So we'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, kind of mid-tier day today. Yay, Ensk. Woo. Eh. <laughs> Tier 7 match. Tier 6 artillery. Hmm. Could be good. Could be good. It's three artillery on each side as well. Craziness. Woo. Let's see if we can get right on over and not get spotted. We're not going to know if we're spotted because we have a fresh little crew in this machine. And, uh, it's only kind of halfway through percentage wise nice quick reload hmm, do we have a look for artillery is it I don't think they would have gotten over here in time right let's back up a little bit so we can get shots on this uh, this ISU shot away Fell short. Right. And we'll back up. I don't normally sit right in the corner, but we will do today. Not long on our reload, so let's stay here. If we can get a shot on the the X medium tank. The 3601H. Used to be an awesome medium tank. I loved it. Ooh, that was weird kind of felt like it was going to fall short and then it did so there's a light tank up here need to try and get aimed in on ready we're not really able to get shots on them unfortunately ok so there's, there's a Churchill there and I expect the other tank that's in the cap will be will be hidden around that corner too. Damn it! I thought that we might get lucky there. And can we get shots on the cap from here? Hmm. Not quite. We could if the Churchill stays out like that, but he's probably not going to. A shot from Battle Assistant. Let's try and reset the cap if we can. We did. Now that our guys have pushed on round this section, we can try and push down this eastern side a little bit. Whoa! Got turned there weirdly. Let's see if we can get aimed in ready on this medium tank. Okay. Yeah, and that fell very, very short. Let's try and get the head out of the way then. Looks like the M12 could potentially cop it unless he can get a shotgun in. Just have a, a quick look to see. Looks like he did, but it was a low roll, possibly. Maybe we can get aimed in on him. Taking a little while. Oh, I should have just let that aim finish, shouldn't I? Okay, well, our E2 managed to get him, which is good. Maybe we could reduce this cap a little bit more. Hmm. Let the same time come right in before we uh, before we fire this time, shall we? So aimed that was fully aimed and it went wonky <sighs> ok Crusader SP was working his way over this way is he going to come down here do you think 
Ten seconds left. We might be able to get a little bit of damage in on him. There he is. Two. One. And we did hit him, but they'd already taken him out. Good game. Well, there we are. That was a victory. Managed 478 of our own damage. 809 assist. Jeez, how did that happen? We must have tracked him or something. Weird. Oh, of course, yeah, because we, we splashed him, didn't we? For a little bit. Yeah, 105, blimey. <laughs> and we've got our first mark of excellent. Jeez, that's weird. On on that damage, I guess nobody's been playing that for the for the last wee while. So not too good on damage or XP, to be honest with you. Did make a little bit of a loss because we're running a consumable, but it's to be expected. So eight shots fired, one direct hit with a penetration and one splash. Hmm. You can rack up some hefty damage in this machine, and I didn't that time. Hmm. Oh well, no, it it happens, it happens. So. Yeah, right, something else we haven't been out in for a while. Uh, a while. The Hummel. Yes, tier 6 machine. It's very good. It does have its um, HD model now, so it looks lovely. You know, the trusty spade. Mm. It's always good to have a spade. Yes. Okay, mines again. Tier 6 match. This could be good. I, uh, I do like this map. And I don't mind starting in either side, if I'm perfectly honest. So, counter battery is a thing here for sure. So, let's, um, let's try not to, shall we? Let's try not to get caught out. So, a little FFFFF. Same idea as us. Let's do as we normally do. So this has been destroyed, so there's somebody over here. Let's uh, have a look. The good thing with people driving the FFFs is that because the reload time is so short, they're reluctant to move between shots. Hmm. Okay. Someone's moving into position there. Obviously turning and aiming in now. KV-1S around the outside in the west there. We need to keep an eye on him. Kind of got one eye on the map whilst looking over this way. I'm surprised we haven't seen any traces yet. I'm guessing they're looking for, for hours, possibly. Weird. Haven't heard anything either is weird in itself looks like something's down there let's take a shot speculative shot okay let's get moved just in case hmm so I was gonna try and get a shot over here but wasn't quick enough nope the left FFFF's got him okay so can we kind of do to help out our little Panther 4 there? Maybe we can get a shot on him. Hmm. He's pushing back again though. You would have thought he'd just pulled forward and, and gone for it. Hmm. Okay. So, no knee over this way. Oh no, not no knee. I know I. The one that I normally call IO. It's gone already. So this 150 might pop up this way. We haven't really had time to do any bloody damage. Everybody dying too quickly. Got away. Way there we go. Finally get some damage in. Oh, let's not get in the way of this. FFF. 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 Kind of feel like a gelf. Trying to say that sometimes. I wonder if Gelf would ever become a proper language. I don't think it would, would it? Red Dwarf references. Woo. Hmm. Not got clear shot on this Valentine, really. Unless we can splash him. It'd be difficult, though, because he's right behind the rock. In a way. A 
Electo. Where would the Electo be? Valentine's been spotted again. Maybe we could splash him. If we didn't hit the rock, we would. I think time, time to move is night. I did just knock over a tree, but we should be fine. I think we're far enough away. So there's the Electo. It's a very cool machine, the Electo. You, uh, you can kind of fling shells with the little howlet so that it, that it gets given. It's awesome. Hmm. Right, our ELC is headed over this way. We're still waiting on it. an aim time though. I'm gonna, I was just about to say, I'm gonna press the aim button, the fire button. Just in case. Right, SU-100 then. Need to try and get some other damage in than just one. One hit, surely. Okay, and he's gone again. Maybe if we do that. No, that was miles off. Heh. The Hummel seems like this. Um, only over after the last like two patches, maybe. The, the Hummel's been very missy. Right, just kind of not very many shots actually land where you want them to. Hmm. Right, we might be in a better position to hit uh, hit the SU-100 now, maybe. No, he's pulled behind another rock. Jeez, really? Look at that view. That's just... We're never going to be able to hit him, are we? Unless he pulls out. Nope. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there you go. They got him in the end. Good game. Well, there's a little bit of damage, eh? 488, which was the one hit on the uh, the T150. Didn't really do anything other than that. So five shots fired, one direct hit. No splash damages. Right the way down on the XP table and on the damage table. Boo! So there's a little bit more of a loss in credits. We are running some consumables to try and help with that, uh, that miss, missy miss, miss that it seems to do, but... I don't know how I ended up with two marks on it with the amount of misses that I seem to get, but eh, I don't know. Right, M12, M12 time. Ooh, this is one of the ones that I bought back because we wanted to play it again, so I haven't got marks on this yet, but maybe one day I need to play it a little bit more. We have a fresh crew in here. I'm not running any premium consumables or anything on this, so you can see what it's like with just equipment and 100% crew with no skills, just a little bit of camo. So, yes, wish us luck. Okay, here's a map that we haven't seen for a while, Redshire. One artillery per side, just a GW Panther. Don't know whether we should risk taking some time looking for him. I think we'll wait and see. I was thinking there's two spots, well, three spots, I suppose, in the north that artillery tend to sit in. That's the uh, kind of A1 section. Don't know many people that sit there, but some people do. And then right between three and four, there's a dip there. That's um, that's quite a nice place to sit. And then also around about A8, but sitting there, you don't really get clear shots across from where all the heavies go. Don't tend to. So might just have a quick look to see if there's any trees down. That one is. It's weird that it's in that direction though. I'm sure that everybody starts off near the cap. Unless somebody's pulled in here and then turned on it maybe. All right, we'll keep an eye here then just to begin with and then we'll get aimed in either east or west depending on what gets spotted. 32 second reload's not too bad. For a tier 7. It's good. The aim time didn't feel too bad when we were over here, but then I was talking, so maybe, you know, it's like watching it, waiting for a kettle to boil. You don't really notice if you're not watching it. Kind of listening for shells. At least if you don't see one, you hear one. Hmm. 
Nope. Not hearing anything. Have a look at these mediums then. They are below the ridge line. So we might be able to get something on this IS3A though. Hmm. Here comes the end time. Do 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 Direct hit. Excellent. Let's move over a little bit just in case the GW was looking for us. Wow, there's quite a few people over this way. Jeez, let's... Oh, our KV-4's not looking too healthy. Okay. Alright, well, we'll keep trying to attack these people at the back because the, uh, the ones really close to our heavies are uh, right in the section that we can't get to. Shot away. Right, we're going to have to move, move now. Try not to knock anything over or break anything on the way. As they push around the ridge there, we might be able to get some shots. Possibly. That's if our heavy tanks survive. Jeez. Dropping really quickly. Concentrated fire, I suppose. There's quite a few of them there. Right, let's see what we can do. Let's get aimed in. He's pulling back. He's, he's in a good spot, so... Okay. Let's use battle assistant to try and capture things slightly. Really don't want to hit our guy. building really see so it could have gone right and we could have taken out our guy so you know it was good that we waited I suppose oh. this is not cool we need some of our shots to actually land where we want them to we've managed to get two on one of the IS-3As or the IS-3A that they have mm. right Moved along here a little bit more then. Do we take some shots at these tank destroyers? I'm sure there used to be water over here. Oh yeah, they changed the river, didn't they? Derp. Okay, so just as we decide to have a look over here, all of them disappear. Excellent. Well, let's let them know that this is where we're aiming and that we're ready to fire. Okay, the AT-15 is going to need a hand. Some um, battle assistance not very good when things are on a ridge like this. Um, short away. Well, I'm guessing that went in. Hmm. Right. There's somebody on the cap. We can't really hit the cap too well. Let's see if we can defend this um, tank destroyer of ours. He's going to cop it fairly quickly though, isn't he? Yep, there he goes. That was mighty fast, wasn't it? Right, let's see what we can do with this bulldog then. Nout, because it's behind the rock. And we were spotted, so lovely. <laughs> yeah, I forgot we didn't have six cents, do we? Yeah, so it's, hmm. Oh well, matches go like that sometimes. Our team managed to destroy two of them, though. <sighs> Probably going to be a loss, don't you reckon? We'll leave it there and see how things turn out, shall we? Turns out GW was in there after all. So that was a defeat, but we did a lot more damage than I thought we did. So 1,447 of our own damage there. So we did hit the uh, the ISU. We splashed him, at least. The IO we managed to hit, and we got two on, uh, on the IS-3A, I believe. Oh no, I suppose that shot then that we thought went on the, the IS-3A actually hit the IO. He must have been not spotted at the time and that's why you couldn't really see the well I didn't spot the tracer going in hmm interesting 
Oh, second on damage, blimey. Our guys didn't do too well, did they? So, quite a way up on XP. Was a defeat, but still, something's better than nothing. And because of the lack of the premium consumables and everything like that, we did actually make some credits. So, even at uh, Tier 7, you can make credits if you're not running anything extra. So that's good, as long as you do some damage, obviously. And that was after we got destroyed as well. Hmm, excellent. Okie dokie, it's looking around about 20 minutes, so I will leave it there for this episode. Thank you for watching, leave a like and stuff if you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So until then, bye!